I was at my desk at the University of New Hampshire that Tuesday morning on October 7th, 2003, when I got the phone call saying, Valerie, they're digging up the street. You know what they found on Chestnut Street? You know, these bones on the street are not animal bones. They're human. They tell a story. They have a life. They have a history. We do know that during the period of time that that burial place was active, the vast majority of the black people in Portsmouth were actually enslaved. These people came here on ships from the West Indies and Africa. And people were sold from those ships. We pride ourselves in New England with historic cemeteries never saying that beneath the pavement we trod upon, there's a people buried in a ground just as sacred. The history of African Americans in the North has only been recently discovered, so to speak. In 1779, 20 slaves from Portsmouth petitioned the New Hampshire General Court. They too, wanted to share in the freedom that the colonies were seeking. It wasn't just the Pilgrims or the Puritans in Boston, Africans who were brought to New England, they have a story to tell. Once you include a black history, you have to ask yourself, what does it mean to the town? What it, does it mean to the individual? person who cherishes a certain ideal of New England. Uh, black people have been uh, invisible people in this country. It's convenient to not see what you don't want to see, I suppose.